Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to SD Talks brought to you by Image Skincare. I'm Leslie and I'll be your virtual MC today. We will get started in just a few moments, but before we do, I'd like to go over a few things. First, everyone is on mute so we can ensure to hear our guest host, Annalie Longacre. We encourage you to turn on your cameras so we can see our beautiful skincare community. Please feel free to ask questions during the event by clicking on the chat icon at the bottom of your screen. Our Image Skincare Corporate Education team will be answering questions during the event. At the end of the event, Anna Lee will also address questions. I will share all of the products used during the live event at the end. This event is being recorded. SD Talks is an initiative we've created to support our beloved community of professionals, the lifeblood of our brand. It's a direct way to connect our clients and consumers to our VIP estheticians and professionals to get a behind closed doors look into professional skincare. With that, I'd like to introduce you to Annalie Longacre, our host of today's SD Talks brought to you by Image Skincare. Please welcome her with a virtual round of applause. Hello, everybody, and thank you, Image, so much for having me. I am super excited to be here. I'm excited to do anything with Image Skincare. My name is Annalie Longacre. I am located here in Brentwood, California, which is in Northern California. I um, kind of some crazy times here right now, but we're going to stay really positive today, and we are going to talk about skincare and um, primarily exfoliation, one of my absolute favorite topics. My uh, journey with Image started about 10 years ago when I started using Image um, personally. And um, I've been using Image professionally in my business here at New Glow in Brentwood for about three years now. Love the product, love the versatility, love everything about it. I, um, when I was in aesthetic school, I was introduced to the peels via my aesthetics teacher, instructor. And so I, the young newbie esthetician, went home and ordered a peel and ordered something that was incredibly too strong for me and learned two things from that experience. First was I learned about over exfoliation, which we will talk about later. Um, and I also learned about the ingredients and the strength of image skincare and how important it is to be extremely knowledgeable and to know that you are using the products correctly and um, just to educate myself, which has now moved on in my career to educating others as well. So um, with all of that being said, I have chosen two favorites in the realm of exfoliation with image. I have lots and lots and lots of favorites. It was really hard to just pick two. But since we're talking about exfoliation today, um, the first product that I chose was the, um, or is the hydrating enzyme mask. And the reason why I chose this product is because this is something that everybody can start the exfoliation journey with. Um, this is a great layering mechanism. Also, when you bump up with your exfoliation, um, this again is something that everyone can use and I highly recommend starting here. Love this product hydrating, gentle, yet exfoliating. Um, the second product that I would like to talk about today, which is another current favorite, they change all the time, but um, current favorite right now is the Daily Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 30. Love this product. This is a superstar product in the sense that um, it has many products in one. So not only is it a moisturizer, um, it's also a sunblock. It is also a, um, it can act as a primer. It has a lovely, lovely, lovely finish that um, can definitely replace a primer. Um, it also has a beautiful tint that has really, really nice coverage. So this is the perfect product for one, after exfoliating, and two, for anybody that um, you just want a really simple, basic regimen. Amazing product. After talking about those two, I would like to dive into exfoliation and why we are here today and what we are talking about. Um, exfoliation is the process of shedding old dead skin cells, which as we age, um, everything tends to slow down a little bit. So sometimes we need exfoliators to promote that exfoliation. 
um, really, really key for that glowing skin, hydrated skin, deeper product penetration, many, many benefits of exfoliation, but primarily it is just getting rid of that dull and revealing the new glow, which everyone speaks to. I get requests for, um, you know, I want dewy skin or I want my skin to glow or I'm feeling like it's dull. So exfoliation is absolutely the solution for all of those concerns. Um, so basically we, we, we talk about exfoliation, but there's a huge realm. So when we're talking about exfoliation, we want to really think about what it is for you or what it's going to be for you. And there are multiple different forms. There are multiple different types. There are different formulations. There are all kinds of different exfoliators. So I'd like to educate a little bit on what that looks like. I get a lot of misconceptions thinking that um, exfoliators need to be um, a scrub. I hear the word apricot scrub a lot. Um, I hear the word walnut scrub a lot, which are absolute exfoliators. They are manual exfoliators not suitable for everyone. So I'd like to talk a little bit about what the other options are. Um, when we're talking about manual exfoliators, there's definitely a place for manual exfoliation. And that is when we are removing the dead skin cells manually. So that means a washcloth, um, something as simple as a facial brush or a silicone scrubber, or um, when we're going into more professional treatments, we are talking about microdermabrasion. Um, we are talking about dermaplaning. Um, so lots of areas in manual exfoliation. What I really like to um, play with is uh, the chemical exfoliation, which is absolutely lovely and can be customized correctly by a professional. If you don't know what you're doing with the chemical exfoliation, that is when um, we might see the over exfoliation. Um, I think a lot of people get fearful when they hear the word chemical exfoliation too, because they think of Samantha from uh, Sex in the City when she got that terrible, terrible chemical burn from the chemical peel. And um, I'm gonna show you today that chemical exfoliation does not have to be anything like that. There is that if you want that, but again, very, very large spectrum to exfoliation. So when we're talking about chemical exfoliation, we are talking about enzymes. We're talking about AHAs, which are going to be your um, lactics, your glycolics. We're talking about BHAs, which are going to be the salicylics. Um, there's a place for every single one of them and not necessarily for everyone. So once again, really, really important that you have this exfoliation process customized for you, your concerns, and what you like. Because I always tell my clients that if you like the product, you're going to use it. So it's really important as a trained professional that we really listen to what the consumer's likes are. Because if we know what they like, they're going to use it, they're going to see the result, and all the magic has happened. So we are going to do an exfoliation today. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring my model up here. I'm going to bring her up. And I just want to touch on here um, in the county that I'm in, unfortunately, um, I am unable to practice. Hopefully, I'm hoping to open very open back up very, very soon. When I do open, I will be fully masked. Um, I will always wear gloves. Um, all of our sanitation practices are um, very much in effect. But as for today's demo, I'm not going to do a mask today because I want you to be able to understand me. I want you to be able to see me. I also am going to be doing a, um, a great exfoliation on her. So I want to be able to make sure that I'm able to feel her skin, that I'm able to feel the heat in her skin. I want to make sure that she's not too reactive. So really, really important here that I am able to stay in contact with her. So another thing that I want to touch on before I start going through the products is I want to um, let everybody know how I feel about image and that not only has it been around for almost 17 years, um, very smart botanicals, physician formulated, tri tried, true, and very tested. And I um, love working with the line. So all the products, very, 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 very wonderful. So here we go here. Um, we're gonna start, so Diana, this would typically be about a 45 minute procedure if she came to come see me. Um, I'm gonna 
kind of go a little bit quick through it today because we're working with about eight to 10 minutes. So um, Diana has been pre-cleansed. I did a double cleanse on her. The first cleanse was with the refreshing wipes. If you have not tried this product yet, absolutely incredible product. Will remove anything, even the most stubborn makeup, but is also very gentle. So love those. Use that as a first cleanse. Um, the second product that I'm going to use is the Hormetic Balancing Facial Cleanser. This is a gel cleanser, which turns to a foam. There are zero active ingredients in this. So um, Image has a lot of cleansers that can work as an exfoliator because there are active ingredients in them already. This is a nice, gentle, suitable for everyone foaming cleanser that's going to give me a really good base for our exfoliation today. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little mixture here. And that is going to be the Hydrating Enzyme Mask, which I spoke about earlier, great base. But I'm also going to add in some lactic here. And this is the Intense Brightening Exfoliating Powder. This is another gentle exfoliant. Um, you can start off on either one of those, just really depends on a preference as to what you like, how often you want to use it. Um, lots of variations here. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mix them together and create kind of a little superstar mask here. So I have enzyme mask, I'll do this here, enzyme mask, and then I have the lactic powder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle some in here. Again, adding a little bit of chemical exfoliation being that lactic to the enzyme exfoliation. So I'm just going to stir this up here and I'm going to do, I'm going to coat her entire face here with a nice layer of this mask. And what the enzymes once again are going to do is they're going to act as little Pac-Men that are going to remove any of those dead skin cells. So we're going to do a nice layer here. Not a real, not a whole, not a need for a whole lot of manual exfoliation here because the enzymes are going to do the work. And then remember, we also added in the lactic. So the lactic is going to do the work as well. And they're going to go in and break up what are called desmosomes, which are the dead skin cells. They're the binders for the dead skin cells. So we just want to break that up. We want to start the process of the exfoliation right now. And whenever we're exfoliating, we always really want to check in with the client and make sure that, um, I like to call it spicy, that it's not too spicy on the skin. This is something really gentle. Um, I chose to go gentle with her because I do notice a little bit of redness in her skin and she was reactive in the cleanse. So I know that we're going to want to start slow here. So Diana, can I ask on a scale of one to five, where are you at in your tingle factor? One being not very strong, five being incredibly spicy. Well, about a one. About a one. That is what I like to hear. So again, this is a very good exfoliant and we're only at a one. And she tends to err a little bit on the sensitive side. So um, I like this. So that means that if she's at a one, that means I am going to bump it up and I'm going to go even stronger. Because again, we are in the treatment room. As professionals, we are trained, we know what to look for, we know what to watch for. And so I'm going to do another layer here. And what I'm going to add is we are going to add a peel on top of this. We are going to get really crazy over here with our exfoliation. So what I'm going to add in here is the eye peel or medic lift. Love this product, gentle enough for anyone as long as they are ready to be exfoliated. Um, really strong enzymes, higher concentration. So when we move up into the professional products, the professional products have much higher concentration than the home care products. So that's why um, we are able to use them. So I like to shake it up. I don't know if you can hear, but you might be able to hear the little the enzymatic reaction. So in here we are working with pineapple, passion fruit, mango, really high concentrations of enzymes. And what I really want to show you here, I'm going to see if we can zoom in a little bit quicker here. Because when I apply this to the mask that we already have working on her skin, we're going to see um, some activity from those high concentrations of the enzymes. So they're going to take the enzymes that are already on her skin and take them up to the next level with this peel. So let's see if we can see this here. What we're going to do. And as you can see here, 
see it's starting to get a little bit more activity. Diana, do you feel any of that activity on your skin? Um, just a little, but it just smells so good. Smells amazing. Another huge bonus to all of Images products, the formulations and the smells are incredible which makes it absolutely a pleasure to work with because not only am I happy, but the client's happy as well. Not only am I getting a great result, but the client is in just pure, pure luxury. So we're gonna do a layer of this over her entire face here, a nice layer. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for too much reaction. So I see a little bit of pink happening on her skin here. I'm gonna to touch it and see how we're doing. Her temperature's good, she's doing well, but this, again, once we start bumping up into the peel and the professional line, you definitely wanna have all eyes on the client and make sure that we're not over exfoliating, which we will talk about here shortly. So we have now done an enzymatic exfoliation, the hydrating mask. We have done a lactic exfoliation with the hydrating coconut powder, and we now have the Ormetic Lift on her skin, which is a enzymatic peel. This peel is lovely because it's also in an aloe base. So um, very, 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 very gentle on the skin. Gentle yet effective, which slow and steady with skin is always the way to go because the great thing is with skincare, you can always go stronger. So slow and steady is the way to go. So typically I would leave this on I would leave this on. I would let the enzymes do its magic. I might even do another layer of the enzyme mask over the top of this in about five minutes, depending on how she's doing. Um, again, we can completely customize. We can completely layer. And it's just knowing the client and knowing their skin and knowing where we can take it. So we're going to add in another form of exfoliation. And that is going to be a little bit of manual exfoliation. So we have, again, to recap, we've done the enzyme mask, we've done the lactic, we've done the ormetic peel, and now we're going to add in some manual exfoliation. And that is a washcloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap her, and as I am removing all of this, it's actually breaking up any of those dead skin cells that are still holding on by that little desmosome. So we went in, we loosened it all up, and now we're going to remove. At this point, I'm going to touch a little bit on um, over exfoliation. And over exfoliation is absolutely a thing. Um, and it's basically when you break down that barrier. So when you break down that outer barrier of the skin, unfortunately, you let too much moisture out and environmental toxins in. So you want to make sure that you find the perfect balance for exfoliation to where you're not stripping the skin. Um, you just want to really keep it nice and hydrated exfoliated and most importantly protected sunscreen but that's a whole nother SD talk so today we're just going to stay with the exfoliation and the importance of that so again just removing here and I can already see the glow in her skin and that was leaving it on what two or three minutes typically I would leave it on up to 10 and maybe even layer in another exfoliant um, or another layer of the enzyme mask so really really lovely here you can see some activity here in her skin which I really like to see um, you see the redness I see a little bit here a little bit of the flush in the skin this is great because this is meaning that the cells have been re-signaled and re-energized and right now we are stimulating collagen, we're stimulating elastin, and we are revealing all of those brand new skin cells, which is the goal for that glowing skin. Another great thing about exfoliation is we now, she is now completely prepped for product penetration, which when you have an outer layer on your skin, it's hard for the products to actually penetrate through that. So to have products they're, they're highest effective, we definitely want to have a good base for that penetration. So this is absolutely perfect right here. Typically, if we were in service, I would put a really hydrating mask and I would put a whole bunch of hydration in her skin at this point. Um, we're not going to do that today, but what we are going to do is put a serum on her and I have chosen the um, Vital C Hydrating Serum. Image Skincare, this has been their number one selling product for 17 years. It is my number one selling product. And I'm pretty sure other than two clients, every single client of mine uses this serum. 
Um, so we are going to apply some of that to Diana as well. Let's see, did we get all of her mask off? Let's make sure that we got all of her, everything off here. Okay, so again, not over exfoliated. I can see, you can see if we see in the light here, you can see kind of the dewy in her skin here. So that, we did not start like that. So again, quick exfoliation and we got results like that. Imagine if we did the full treatment. So here I'm again going to just imply, apply this serum because this is the perfect time for the Vital C serum penetration. So we're going to do this for Diana here. And her skin feels lovely. How do you feel? Wonderful. You feel wonderful. Good. Any tingles, any sensations, any discomfort, anything anywhere on the skin? Oh, well, it got up to about a two and a half, but now it's feeling refreshed. Wonderful. So see, we did three forms of exfoliation. And we, she only went to a two and a half. So next time, if the client wants, we can go a little bit stronger. So always, 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 always protection, no matter what, meaning SPF, especially after any sort of exfoliation process, because that is brand new skin that we do not want to damage at all. So typically at this point, I would do uh, the Prevention 50. Anytime I do a deep exfoliation, chemical peel, anything, um, I usually put on the 50, but knowing that my client likes the oil-free Matte 32, um, I'm going to take that into consideration because she has some stuff to go take care of after this. So I'm going to do that for her. Um, we are doing, let's see, daily matte moisturizer and SPF. Once again, superstar product, multiple products in one. Um, that's perfect for the client that um, doesn't want to have the extra step of sunscreen. So they can use this as a moisturizer, which is lovely, lovely product. So here we go. I'm going to coat her entire, I'm going to coat everywhere here with a good layer of sunscreen. And then I want to show you my other fave, my other current fave. So I spoke about it before. It is the Daily Tinted Moisturizer. This is a new formulation. Love, love the new formulation. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on her right cheek here so you can see the magic that this SPF does. Okay, so we see her cheek here. We see the red. And voila. Completely gone. So not only is she dewy and radiant, but now she can leave without any redness on the skin. A lot of people are sometimes fearful of doing professional treatments because they don't want to leave red. So this is perfect for the person that wants to just come and have a quick little lunchtime treatment and go back to work and just glowing the day away. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with her later um, and make her nice and even here because we are going to move on to some questions pretty quick here. Okay, but before, before we let our model Diana go here, I am going to touch on the Armetic Lip Enhancement Complex. Not a single client of mine leaves without this. This stuff is gold. Every treatment finishes with this and that usually results in a client coming back about 10 to 15 minutes later purchasing because they just love it so much, or even a half hour, 45 minutes later, because it's still on their lips. So absolutely love this product. I don't leave home without it. And we are going to We are going to finish Diana off with that. Thank you, Diana, so much for Thank you. being such an incredible model. And we are going to say goodbye to Diana for now. And thank you so much. We will even out that sunscreen later. And um, yeah, so I think that this is maybe some time that you might have some questions for me. I would love to turn it over to Leslie and see if there are any questions that I can answer. Annalie, that was fantastic. Thank you so awesome. much for that great so demo. Awesome.
there are a lot of questions actually. So I have been taking notes from the chat that's going on. So Thanks. one of the questions that came through is, could you mask every day? Mm, it depends. It completely depends. So um, I always tell people you have to kind of work up. So it depends what masking is. There are a lot of masks and then there's things that you can create into a mask. So one day you might do the Vital C hydrating mask and hydrate that way. And then the next day you might do maybe a little bit of a deeper exfoliant. And then the next day you might do uh, a non exfoliating mask. So again, something that completely needs to be customized to the person because um, somebody with less skincare experience, definitely I would not recommend masking every day. I would always start slow. But then somebody that's really into their regimen and has multiple steps, you can absolutely mask every day. I would just not do the same mask every single day. Thank you. Okay, yeah. another question. Is the Ormetic peel something I can do at home or do I need to see my esthetician? You definitely need to see your esthetician for that. Um, the entire professional line is um, only accessible to us with a license. And just so everybody knows, we go through some pretty extensive training in order to have that license one and to be able to use the peels. So definitely something you want to do with a professional. Like I said, I did it when I was still in school and it was bad news. So um, I would highly recommend seeing a professional. Okay, next question. This was in um, regards to the washcloth that you used during your demo. Was that yeah. washcloth wet or damp? Damp. Okay. Yes, damp. Yes, not incredibly wet, just damp. And I never um, have anybody use it too aggressively. It's just a light wipe because again, you don't want to damage that outer layer of skin. So it's just a light, damp, not a scrub. It's just a wipe. Okay, thank you. Next yeah. question, what other image hydrating masks would you su suggest? Oh, um, this one is my other current favorite right now. Uh, Vital C hydrating mask. This, absolutely lovely. Um, I highly recommend actually keeping this in the fridge. If you wash your face at night, give yourself a good exfoliation and then put a layer of this on cold, it's lovely. So um, great consistency, great texture, luxurious to use. That's my current go-to. Perfect. Next question. Yeah. Um, so if I'm at home exfoliating with one of the image products, how long would I exfoliate for? Again, completely customized to the individual. It depends what you're using. It depends how, um, how, um, Far you are into exfoliation. So if I if you were to start exfoliating, it might be something like a minute. Um, if you're a little bit more experienced in the exfoliation realm, I would have you mask it and then get in the shower and wipe it off with a washcloth. So again, it just depends where you're at, how far into it you are, and um, getting that customized exfoliation treatment. That's probably what's most important is making sure that it's right for you. Okay, and last question. How long does it take to see results from exfoliating? Instant. So um, it's absolutely instant. It depends if it's, if it's the dullness that we're wanting to get rid of, that's instant. If we're working with things um, like pigmentation, that's going to take a little bit longer because when we're talking about pigmentation, it's kind of um, like you think of it as an onion, right? So you have to slowly, slowly peel that away to get to the pigment. So just radiance, instant. Things like pigmentation, a little bit longer of a process. Um, yeah, so again, different for every single person. Awesome, thank you so much. So I know that there are more questions. Um, yeah. So why don't you let everybody who's watching know how to get in touch with you? Ooh, absolutely. Um, so I'm located here in Brentwood, California. Um, if you're close to me, you're more than welcome to make an appointment with me and come in. Um, I can't perform service at the moment, but I can show you how to use products and I can customize a treatment for you. Um, I have some information here. It's nice and easy for us visual people. Um, so you can follow me here at New Glow Skincare, New Glow underscore skincare. And I also want to make note whenever we're talking about New Glow, it's G-L-O instead of G-L-O-W, named after Grandmother Gloria. Um, you can also book or call me for a complimentary consultation. I'm doing that today uh, for anybody that was on today and saw this presentation for exfoliation or any part of your regimen, really. 
Um, you can also email me at yournewglow at gmail.com. I have a phone number here. This is my business line that you can call or text. And I am typically back to people within 24 hours. So um, if I don't answer that moment, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, also, I would highly recommend following Image. They have incredible tips and tricks and just an amazing mind. And then um, you can also, Image is now doing virtual consultations. So you can go to imageskincare.com and book a virtual consultation with one of the many estheticians that are affiliated with Image Skincare. Thank you so much, Annalise. So before we end, I am going to put up two slides. One slide is going to be, again, how to get in contact with you. So if anybody just missed your beautiful board, they can take a photo of the slide. And I am also going to post a slide with all of the products that you've used today because there were a lot of questions about them. So I know everybody's curious to see that. But before we do, why don't you do some closing comments? Thank you so much for all of you that have joined. Thank you so much, Image, for hosting this and having me. Um, I am Annalie Longacre, and this is SD Talks Exfoliation. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Thank you, Annalie. So I'm going to post um, those two slides that I promised. Okay. Awesome. Hold on one second. I apologize. All right, so you can get in touch with Annalie Longacre and follow her on Instagram. The information is posted as well as following Image Skincare and checking our website. To find a virtual esthetician during COVID-19, please visit imagedirectory.imageskincare.com. And here are all of the products seen in today's session. Please note the Ormetic Lift Peel is something that you would have to see your local professional. So please do so or contact Anna Lee. She is in the Brentwood area and she's also doing virtual um, consultations as well. So thank you so much for coming. Anna Lee, thank you so much. This was yeah. so full of information. And awesome. I know a lot of people will be contacting you to ask some more questions. Thank you so much to everybody and have a Skinspire day. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.